It's kind of exciting, isn't it? That Jesus would want to get a surplus of supply into your life, into your boat. Oh my, some of you are thinking right now, I sure hope that's true, but it is true. Jesus wants to use, yes, he wants to use your boat. He wants to bless your life. So let's get really simple, pragmatic, and apply these life identities. Think of what happened that day with Peter. Truth got in his boat, light got in his boat, love got into Peter's boat. That's why he was so overwhelmed with the outcome. He said to Jesus, depart from me because I'm a sinful man. He was saying, my identity doesn't line up with your power in my boat, and I know it. I own my failures. I can't blame my daddy and my family. I'm the loser here, and there's no hiding it, especially with your light this bright in my boat. Every good gift comes down from God. So what do we have? Can Jesus borrow it? Is it a one-bedroom apartment, a small house, your dorm room, one grain of rice? Jesus is in your boat. Can you pay attention for 30 whole minutes, an hour? Life does cost you something, my friend, but it's your attention. You do have to pay attention. God has a life download for you right now, and you don't need a conference to get it. You don't need another experience. You see, an experience won't cut it. Matthew 11, verse 15. He who has ears to hear, let him be listening, and let him consider and perceive and comprehend by hearing. Good news costs you something, your attention. If you believe it, receive it. So wake up. Jesus is in your boat and you're about to get an overflow instruction. Wake up, don't miss it. Prepare for the presence of God because it comes with the blessing. It will contradict who you were because God wants to transform you into who you really are. Don't be looking to defer blame and sabotage your authority. Life requires choices. Choose that grain of blessing every square. Choose truth over the multiple choice of lies. That means there are some forms of entertainment you can't play in your boat. Jesus is in your boat and there's a blessing agenda, not a confusion tolerance. You've got somebody in your boat getting you ready for the overflow and life actually is that simple. Yes or no, blessing or cursing life or death, wise or foolish, right or wrong. Don't buy the multiple choice lie or you'll be just another road sign warning those who come after you. Dare to believe in the great I am, the identity of truth, light, and love, for there is life in no other.